What's up YouTube? It's Lil T with Techaholics, back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to play PS2 games on your Android device. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be using my Galaxy S9 Plus. So, this goes for all newer devices. I haven't tried this on an older device, but since this is newer, it has a faster CPU and GPU. So, you'll see that the gameplay is pretty smooth. So, without further ado, let's get it in. All right, so what you want to do is you want to head over to the Play Store. You want to go ahead and type in this name. Damien PS2. All right, so I already have it installed. But this app normally costs about $10. And honestly, it's the best one that I've used so far. I've tried another one, which I would do a comparison of this one versus that one. So y'all can be able to see that free isn't always the best thing. And, you know, yes, yeah, $10, but still it's a little bit cheaper or actually a lot cheaper than what it would be to buy the actual PS2 console to, that you can be able to play on your TV. But if you have a Chromecast or, you know, an Android TV box that has Chromecast built in, you can actually stream this straight to your TV without no problems. So, let me go ahead and let me show y'all the app and what it looks like. Alright, so as you see on the intro, I was actually using Sonic Unleashed. I got it right here. And let me go to my games. I have different games like Red Faction, Spongebob, uh, Spyro, Tekken 5, Tomb Raider, and my BIOS, which I'll put the link to those, to that in the description. I'll put the link to where I got these games at in the description as well. And in the next video, I'll probably be showing y'all actually how to get these games running on this emulator. Because I know that it might be kind of hard. Right now, I'm just showing you the emulator. And then I'll show y'all what to do with it later on. So, this is pretty much it. Whenever you get your BIOS, you just go ahead and you select the BIOS that you want. You want to make sure that it's the right BIOS because if not, this will not boot up right. All right, so then you go to wherever your games are. Mine just so happens to be in my memory stick. So what I do is I went ahead and I loaded it into my memory so I don't have it taking it up on my internal drive. As you can see, I got 119 gigs. So scroll down, PS2 games, BIOS. I just put it all in one. Uh, folder just so I can be able to find everything easily So let me go ahead and let me show y'all different games I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down because as you can tell that's kind of loud in the intro So let me see if that's gonna help Actually, yeah, I'll just turn it down all the way just so it's not too loud for you guys So we'll go ahead and we'll load up Spyro as you can tell loads up the game case or cover And then this still does vibrate, so if it does, I'm sorry, guys. It might be kind of loud. Just make sure that you turn down your volume a little bit, just so you'll be able to hear me, but it's not too loud. I know that sometimes it gets kind of loud. As you can tell, I mean, it's loading up pretty nicely, especially with this phone, because it has a nice GPU, it has a nice CPU, and this is actually made for gaming. They didn't specify that it was a gaming phone whenever i bought it but every game that i have played on this from ps2 games to psp games it actually runs very well so definitely something to keep in mind if you do have this device so you technically don't have to go out and buy a newer device just because this is already up to date with good specs I don't, I don't know what I just did. I mean, yeah, it does have a little bit of lagging, if you see. I don't know if y'all could actually see this on the video. But you have to remember, whenever the PS2 first came out, it was actually like kind of a supercomputer. So it took a lot to actually run the device. 
So for it to be running on a phone, it actually is really cool. All right. So here goes the game. As you can tell, it does have a little lag to it, but that's typical. You know, at least it's not as bad as the other application that wouldn't even load these games. Yeah, that's how bad that it was. It wouldn't even load them. I was stuck on Spyro for like so long. I was like sitting there waiting, and the only thing that I saw was just a little head of Spyro, and it wouldn't even do anything after that. And then whenever it did, it would just go so slow and it was just laggy. But free isn't always good. It never is. So if you get something for free, you know, sometimes it's going to come with um, like a consequence or it's going to come with something that you don't want. So that's pretty much the gameplay. Uh, it does have a little lag, like I said. So if this is showing up in the video, I'm sorry. If not, and if it's actually running very nicely and if you can see this, like what I see, it's actually really nice. If for a, for a game system to be playing on my device, I actually like it a lot. Like I said, ten dollars. Spend the ten dollars if you want to play PS2 games. You know, on the go. If you get a little Bluetooth controller for like sixty bucks or less, if you go through eBay or Amazon, you could actually be able to have a portable PlayStation 2 right in the palm of your hands. So that's really nice. I'm going to show y'all a little bit more gameplay with this and then I'll go ahead and go to uh, one more game to show y'all. So as you can tell, this, this app I believe just updated. So I think that they added some stuff to it because it's actually running really smooth right now. It was a little bit laggy uh, before, but this is actually running really nice. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit this one. And I'll play something else. I know NFL Street has a lot more lag in it. Maybe it's because it's a more higher quality game. Uh, Sonic Unleashed, it plays pretty good. But there is some lagging to it. So I'll play a little bit of that just to show y'all. Because obviously it was my intro. So why not just go ahead and show y'all how it runs. And the thing is, too, is that if you download this, uh, make sure that it's in an English version. If it's in, like, a Chinese version, I'll show y'all what y'all need to do just in case if you get it from the website that I did. And, like I said, I'll show y'all that, which you see right now how it's showing up in Chinese. I'll show y'all what y'all need to do in order to uh, get it working the way that you want it to work. So this is perfect right here because I actually had to look it up through... A different thing um, like I had to use a separate device to actually get the Chinese lettering and then be able to put it into English for me to understand it but some lettering on here is actually in English so that's a good thing Let me skip this so this might actually be in English but some of it might be in Chinese but if not then I'll just show y'all what y'all need to do either way that it goes so we'll go to oh, I didn't mean to do that Okay, no, it is in English. Okay, so I'm going to back out and I'm going to show you what y'all need to do. So I'm going to put it back in Chinese just so y'all can be able to see everything that you need to do. Because then that would help y'all out a lot more just to be able to get an idea of how this works. So go to options. At the top it says language settings. And then you just go over to the second one and it's in English. So we're going to put it in Japanese because that's what it was. So whenever you download the game at first, this is what it's going to look like. So you're pretty much going to just do everything that I did, but backwards. So everything is going to look in English for right now, but whenever you start the game, he's going to start talking in Chinese and you don't want all that. So you go to option, then you go to the first one, then you go over to the second, and there you go, it's in English. Or if you want it in any other language, like if you're Spanish, but you know a little bit of English and you're just watching this video, maybe French or anything like that, you'll be able to actually do whichever one that you want to. Um, so... 
that's very very good for y'all to know because i know that some of these they actually come in different foreign languages and not too many people actually show y'all how to do that now it's going to save and it's going to be where i want it to be as you can see up here at the top, right over here, you will see where it says the frames per second and all that stuff. So I don't know if y'all are paying attention to that or not, but definitely really cool. These actually look in HD. I think that's because of the fact that I have such a good phone. But I'm not trying to say that my phone's better than yours. I'm just saying that certain phones aren't going to be able to run this application the way that mine is due to graphics and GPU and CPU and the... and all that stuff it it has to be working well it has to be up to date and all that stuff in order for this to run right so let me start the game so i don't know if y'all can see this right now but this actually looks very very clear on my screen yeah there's some little uh fuzziness right here i think that that's due to the um to the game itself it's not really the application that's running i think it's just the game the rom all right so you see how it's in english the whenever he talks whenever i was first playing this it was actually in chinese and it kind of was getting annoying or japanese or whatever and I didn't understand it, so I was like, man, you know what, what am I going to do in order to get this to work right? And something told me to use that. It was uh, the Google Translate app that I used on my other phone, the one that I used to actually edit my videos. And I actually got that on there, and it helped me out a lot. So that's something to think about, too. If you have an extra device that you could be, actually, you could be able to actually do that kind of stuff on. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Just because we don't want to watch this. Uh, let me see if it's going to let me skip. I don't think that it will. Yeah, it's not going to let me skip it. So I kind of can't show y'all what the gameplay looks like because I'm not trying to tap on the screen too much and it, and it vibrates loud you know, in y'all's ears, but you get the idea of this working. So I'll go, I'll just go ahead and I'll go to one more app. So y'all can be able to see, or one more, uh, game. So y'all can be able to see how it plays. We'll do Tekken just because there's a little bit lag, but it also runs pretty smooth on here. So it can give you an idea of like what I'm talking about. But then again, they did just update the app, I believe. So they may have fixed that issue. I know that not all games are going to play at perfection, so that's something that you should note too. But for $10 and for free ROMs, I mean, how can you go wrong? So let me go ahead and let me skip through this. All right. Easy arcade battle and let me pick let me pick my favorite person king as you can tell there's a little bit of lag actually it's running pretty smooth oh no nope, there it goes yeah you'll be able to see the little bit of tiny lag that it has but it still runs really nice so let me go ahead. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, it's not running as smooth as what it needs to be, and I'm pressing the wrong button. All right, so I'm not going to play this very long because, like I said, I don't want this to be vibrating in y'all's guys' ears. But I just wanted you to see that it does run and it does work pretty smooth on the Galaxy or on any device that has a nice processor. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up like and share if you have any comments go ahead and leave a comment and as always thanks for watching like and subscribe